Ladies, whenever you catch your man talking about your value is depleted by the age of 30, by the age of 40, by the age of 50, you have to question what type of man you are listening to in the first place. Men who typically talk about a woman's value is devalued as she gets older typically cannot handle or control an older woman. And let me break that down to you. Men, this is not the, me saying that you need to handle and just like somebody's be fussy and fighty, but typically a younger woman who has no experience who doesn't have a job, who's not aware of her aura, who has not perfected herself, cannot say no to a lot of the advances that these older men offer her. Like, hey, I want to put you in the house. I want to put you in a car. I want to buy you this. I want to buy you that. Those younger women who are not self-aware and do not know how to handle themselves or conduct themselves with men will fall for it all the time. So when you are no longer younger, you are self-aware, and you run into a man who is looking for that type of woman, he is going to immediately try to belittle you, immediately try to humble you into saying, oh, well, you're old, you're this. And it's really because not the fact that that man is not interested in you, you wouldn't be having the conversation with him if he wasn't, if he, if he wasn't interested with, to, with you in the first place. The issue is that you are no longer at the manipulation stage so he wants to bring you down. He wants to cheapen your value so he can feel comfortable with stepping to you and dating you. Now, this is not all men. Most men that got some sense and that that has a good woman or recognize a good woman realizes that a woman's value only changes as she change. It has nothing to do with age. It has something to do with the mentality and what she brings to the table, what she brings to the relationship, how she carries herself, the knowledge she obtains, how she makes him feel, how she's able to set aside and be quiet when it's time to be quiet, when it's time to speak, to speak. All those things are valuable to a man. But when you are dealing with a boy who's just an adult, he is only looking for beauty and ignorance because all he has to offer you is money. That's it. He has to, have you ever noticed a man is really intimidated by a woman who is not impressed about his money? Because typically you cannot impress a woman with money with money. Now, with me saying that, you also need to have money to have Don't take that as, oh, women with money don't want a man with money. We want a partner just like you want a partner. But all I'm saying is if you are dealing with a woman who is established who has money, if all you got is money, she's not interested in you. She's not interested. You had to have some of this. Just like when you deal with a man who has been through mental therapy, who has seen healthy relationships, who values women, seen good women, showing him your ass or your face or your titties or offering to have sex with him is not going to make him want to marry you. He's going to treat you like what you sound like, a prostitute. If that's all you have to offer. Not saying he does not want to do those things with you. Just like not saying that that woman does not want a man that has money. It's just that that cannot be the only thing that you have to offer. So when a man comes to you and say your value, you are devalued at a certain age. I would question what type of man you are talking to. You ladies, do not get upset. When these men want to humble you and talk and talk down to you and make you feel bad because you're older. Because first of all, getting older is a blessing. Second of all, that is God's way of saying, okay, this man is not for you. Because he can't see your value. All he sees is a number. And if he can't see your value, all, if he ever gives you a chance, you're going to struggle to continue to show him how good of a woman you are. He is never going to understand because he was never, he was not supposed to be in that spot to be your man in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Then now you see the older women, the women's in their 40s and their 50s competing, going to the clubs, trying to look like these girls in their 20s. When well, we're not supposed to be looking like them, they looking up to us. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get the women. That's why you get those type of women who seem like they're in competition with the girls. It's not necessarily they're in competition with the girls. They got with this nigga, and not a man, it's a difference. They got with this nigga that made them feel bad about their age. So they're trying to constantly influence and remind this man that she's, I'm young, I'm youthful, I'm hip. 
And so it seems like it's competition, but really is she's trying to stay in her relationship that she shouldn't even be in. Ladies, I'm here to let you know, let that go. Let that go. Let him go be with a younger girl that is going to just take his money and run. And that's why men be like, oh, girls don't, girls don't rub backs and feed and cater. It's not the fact that men, women don't do it. It's just that she don't do it because she doesn't like you. She doesn't like you. It is in our nature to be, to be um, maternal. And maternal is not, I'm talking about just baby. Maternal meaning like caring, nurturing. That's what I'm talking about. When a woman likes you, those things are automatic. Do you understand me? Those things are automatic. A lot of times you men leave with your money. You find a woman who's going to take your money. And that's all she's going to do. And then you get on these podcasts, talk about how oh, women, women cheat and women walk away and women not loving me. And she didn't ever care about me. She didn't ask me about my dreams, my aspirations, because that's not what you required. You used your head and not your big head. And now you want the superficial, materialistic women to become wives. You know, a lot of times we talk about how women end up picking the wrong guy. Men, y'all pick the wrong girls too. Y'all pick the wrong one. If I'm if I'm lying, in, how many with are y'all right now with y'all baby mamas? Y'all pick the wrong women just as much as women pick the wrong men. The difference is you all will, instead of being bitter, you'll just treat every woman that comes after that woman like a hoe, no matter what. No matter what she does, because you're so hell-bent and stuck on the fact that this woman you thought that was the one did not do what you wanted her to do. You could not change her. And that's the same thing women do. Women, we get with these guys and we, we try to sleep with them and cook for them and clean and listen to their childhood traumas and hold them and be, be ex exclusively devoted to these men that never was supposed to be in our space in the begin with. So when it's said and done, now you're bitter and you think every man is like that. Well, all reality is you should not have entertained this man. This man should have never been in your space in the first place. He should not have never been. But you all carry that resentment on to next relationships and all you're doing is hurting yourself and hurting your future. I deviated because y'all know that's what I do. But at the end of the day, you guys, to quit dating these men is trying to belittle you. Some of these men will literally be attracted to your light and try to dim it. Aging is beautiful. It's something that not all of us is granted and I'll be damned if I hear about or see any man making you or anyone else that I care about feel bad about getting older and getting wiser and stepping into your 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 era, your era of understanding, your wisdom, your beautifulness, your sexiness. Don't let it happen to you, ladies. Date up, not down.